cover rocker assembly. Pretty cool. excited about that. I'm not excited. I just think that I'd like them to not be together anymore because it's a dumbass relationship. So Sounded kind of like it was. Right. So I have an address and I was actually hoping actually, to be, like, Actually, number one is, uh, what I'm looking for is for this one to go down and then this one to come up and this one to go down. Okay. So number one just did that, which means we can check number four like without <laughs> worry. And that feels, you know, that's fine. It feels a little tight to right, me, right. but I, you know, it may right. not be. <laughs> I'm not a feeler gauge, but it's, you know, it's in operational parameters, I would say. Right. So now we just want to wait for this one, and then we can do number two, and then you can go back and you can do them all with the feeler gauges. Right. These are the these are the adjustment screws. Okay. If you loosen the nut, turn the screw, tighten the nut back up. Yep. So that one's probably good too. Yeah, they feel all right to me. Um, the thing that we were we were looking for, if there was going to be a problem, is I didn't. Too tight. It wasn't tapping. Yeah. So it it would have been something too tight. Right. So if they all have clearance, then you probably aren't getting any compression problems from this. To take this rocker arm assembly off, you just take these nuts off, and these come apart. Um, and I think, yeah, it's all one... It's all one piece. So if you want to get these things off, you have to take the whole arm off. So these come off with the rocker arm these little brackets. Okay. Um, this is your oil feed yep. line and there's a there's a hole in this and there's um, or no, there's a, there's a ring in this and there's a hole in the shaft and you have to make sure that this thing is lined up properly or you won't get oil the oil won't move out to the ends of the shaft and lubricate these things. Right. So um, when you put it back together, uh, that's that's the most critical. That's the thing that you can mess up the worst. <laughs> right. Um, and I think that there's a what is it that you can rotate this shaft oh my goodness, thank you. So and then when you tighten it down I think it grabs it is how it works <laughs> so it's possible when the shaft is off for it to get rotated so that that the feed doesn't line up and then when you bolt it back together it doesn't it I plugs see. this up anyway, I don't remember exactly the configuration on here but right, right. it's something to look at carefully Okay. 
so yeah, once this thing comes off, it comes off as one unit. Um, you know, that line will come off with it. I have to pull that, loosen that nut. Loosen the, yeah. The on the bottom half on or the, the top half? Because um, there's a nut on the top. That right there, too. Yeah. Don't think it matters. I think the bottom one is easier because the whole thing will come up vertically. Okay. Uh, I think I remember taking it off from the bottom. And then, once you get the rocker arms off, these are the the bolts holding the head on. It's these guys, these guys here, and these bolts here. Obviously, you've already taken... I mean, these guys, and then these here? Yep. Those oh, are, that's right. You told yep. me those are just longer yep. collar long nuts. Right. And then which other ones? What other? These ones inside. Okay. Here. And you okay. can see, if you look at it, there's a definite pattern to them. Okay. Um, and the pattern is basically that they they space themselves out around the cylinders. Okay. So there's little rings. I got it. Um, yeah. And so you take those off. You've taken all of your hoses and everything off. Um, and then the, the whole thing just lifts right up and off.